Welcome back to KDK News at 4, everyone. I'm Bob Pompiani, along with Andrew Filipponi of 93.7 The Fan. You know, coaches go to great lengths to keep their star players out of harm's way when it comes to injury possibilities in the preseason. We all see it. Many players don't play at all just to make sure they're healthy for when it counts. And then today, we saw Juju Smith-Schuster decide to take part on this uh, milk crate challenge, which is out there. And by the way, it's landed many people in the hospital with broken bones, collarbones, even worse. To me, it's too risky with the start of the season less than two weeks away. I don't want to be a party pooper, Andrew, but he shouldn't be doing that. Do you think so? Well, I think what it does, unfortunately, Bob, is that it you know sheds a light on, I think, a debate that Steelers fans have wondered about with Juju for a couple of years now, and that is... You know, what drives him? Is it his brand? Is it his social media presence, which we know in 2021, guys can make a lot of money with the videos they post. This is obviously a huge trend on social media. And so Juju probably does big numbers and it puts more money in his pocket, but it's short-sighted because I think it shows to me that that takes precedence sometimes over what's best for his football career. So. You know, that's the thing I wonder about with him. You know, the Steelers brought him back for one year, kind of on a prove-it deal. And to me, it's further evidence that he does not have every basket, uh, bo uh, every egg bob in the football basket for this year. Yeah, well, social media is big for all these guys, but not bigger than the team. At least it shouldn't be.